Hi, I'm Shadia and today is Rainbow Laces Day and to celebrate I'm joined by my wonderful teammate Saoirse. Saoirse, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So let's kick start then. What is it that you love about playing football? So I've always loved sports. I've always loved playing sports, especially team sports. Um, and football just gives me a creative outlet to express myself. It gives me a wonderful community, a, a wonderful group of teammates to play with. And when you first went on a football pitch as a woman, what was that feeling like? Can you explain it? It was nice. It was really nice of just being there with a group of friends playing a sport and just kind of fitting in and no one really caring. Is that how you feel here at Actonians? Yeah. Of, I don't really feel different to anyone else. When I go on a football pitch, I feel quite different. So for me, it's a safe space for me to just be a bit more free. Do you feel free? Yeah, I guess so. Um, one of the nice things I find is when you're playing, like all of your concentration is on the game. You're not worrying about external issues, relationship issues, whatever. It's all about the game and like can channel everything into that instead of the wider world. So it's a kind of escapist thing as well. Can I ask you a bit more about you on a personal level, particularly when it comes to football? We are speaking in the context of Rainbow Laces campaign. Have you ever felt any transphobia on the pitch, any negativity? Have you felt uncomfortable on the pitch? I only really find any negativity or bigotry comes from fans, mainly men. Wherever I am, there's always that slight worry in the back of my mind that someone could say something, someone could do something. There's always that worry of a random act of bigotry. It's this, this jarring jolt back to reality of kind of the world being, especially in Britain, being quite a bigoted place at the moment. And so for you, when you see that, what, what is your reaction to it? I mean, there's an element of pain at first and a sort of disappointment. And it's, it's nasty because it's obviously a minority, but it's a vocal one. Trans people are just the most vulnerable and the easiest, almost socially acceptable to attack right now. We just recently saw uh, the Rugby Football Union banning trans players. Do you worry that football's next? It's definitely possible. Sports has been a huge part of my identity. And yeah, it'd be awful kind of having to, to step, firstly step away from the team, but also having to talk about why it was that all of a sudden I couldn't play. So it's kind of watching my options being limited in real time, as it were. How do you cope with that? So, it's, a, it's a good question, and, it, and sometimes it is very hard to cope. Um, and often some of the nicest things are, are when you face bigotry and someone, especially if it's someone you barely know, stands up for you and says, no, that's not OK. Do you feel that Actonians has your back? Yeah, I sort of fortunately haven't really had to find out. But I feel like if there was bigotry on the pitch, that, that my teammates would stand up for me, my coach would stand up for me. Um, but the fact that there hasn't been an issue says a lot about, actually a lot of people are, just don't care because it's not an issue. Sort of how it should be.